Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks, and today I'll be talking about global variables and how to use them. So let's get started. Global variables are exactly like regular variables, except that they don't expire at the end of a script that is running. This makes them another great option for global storage, just like global fields. To demonstrate, let's create a regular variable within a script. For this example, I'm going to use this existing script that filters our task list. Right now, it uses a global field to perform a find, and I'm just going to change it to be a regular variable instead. So the first thing we need to do is create our variable. We'll add a dollar sign to make it a local variable and we'll call it status. And for our value, we're simply going to reference the global field that has the status that we want to filter our list by and click OK. Now, when we set our field, instead of referencing this global field, we're instead going to reference our variable called status. If we save our script and we test this, we should find that it works exactly the same. And let's go ahead and actually watch this script run. And in addition to watching the script run, I want to watch what happens in the data viewer when we do this. So I'm going to click on our status list one more time to trigger our script. And we're going to watch as our variable is created over here on the left. You can see we have the name of the variable, the value it holds, as well as the type of variable. You can also tell the difference between a local variable and a global variable by the dollar signs. Local variables start with one and globals start with two. We're simply going to run through this once again. And you'll notice as soon as the script is done running, that variable has disappeared. To change this to a global variable is really easy. I'm going to close out our script debugger, go back to our script workspace. I'm simply going to modify the variable that we already have by adding an additional dollar sign. Again, you can see right here, prefixing it with two will actually make it a global variable instead. And now we'll say OK. We also need to be sure to change our set field command to reference our new global variable. We'll say OK. We'll save our script. We will open up our script debugger and the data viewer once again. We'll trigger our script to run. We'll notice our global variable of status has been created. We'll perform our find. And now that it's done running, we can see that we still have access to the global variable that we've created. One use case for this would be if you wanted to determine whether or not the user had actually changed the value of this, you could add a script trigger on object to enter to set a global variable that would hold the initial value of this field. And then on object save, you could then compare the new value with the old value to see if it did in fact change and if we actually do need to trigger a new find to refilter our list. You'll find that there are several different use cases where it will be necessary to use global storage to perform a task needed. Definitely continue to play around and find your own use cases. Thanks for watching.